Hi everyone, this is Gator Gidge, and I'm about to transform this room from my craft sewing room to a guest bedroom for my stepdaughter and step granddaughter, which we will be moving in with us temporarily. So, wow, do I have my work cut out for me. Okay, so I'm gonna do another check-in. I've been busy moving all of the pictures on the walls, more knickknacks, and basically what I have left in here is my library table, which I use for cutting fabric, and my sewing table, television. I took the drapes down, I took all the pictures, the art down, and I do have the headboard left in here. So the next thing I'll do is Start moving out the big pieces and vacuuming. Okay, so I know people like to see things in action, but at this point in my video making career, haha, <laughs> hobby, I do not have the right stand to film me while I'm working. So what I'm going to do is if you're by yourself and you need to move furniture, you can use gliders. I'll be using these little gliders on this, even though it has wheels, um, it's hard to move it on the carpet. And then these larger gliders I'll use on this little desk sewing table. I just wanna start out with the clean slate, not sure what's gonna come back. And of course I have the vacuum here, so I will be ready to vacuum. Everybody. Can't, don't know if you can see me.
All right, I was able to rescue this little piece that got sucked up, it goes to the blinds. It's one of the little end caps. That's finished. That mission is accomplished. As you can see, I have a clean slate. I dusted all of the baseboards. I have vacuum. I do still have the headboard in here, but I'm going to be using that in here. And, all right, this is the second room, uh, the guest bedroom. And so now I'm going to be moving this bed into the smaller room. I still have a lot of work to do. All right, time for me to move this mattress and box spring and frame into the next bedroom. Goodness, this is cumbersome. I might have to have my husband help me. So I'm going to push the um, bed frame, uh, box frame, into the other room. I did get help from my husband with the mattress because it was too difficult for me to move by myself. will be in twin beds when they come visit, but you know, it is what it is. And we are blessed to have a beautiful home. I'll just have to tip Joe. I know you have your shoes on, but we have to do this first.
So <clears throat> I was video recording this making a bed and I did not hit record. So this comforter is one of my older ones. This is a full size bed with a king comforter so that I don't have to use any scurvy bed skirts. And then for the nightstand I'm using an antique. Progress continues. Okay, so what I'm trying to create now is I have linens and I'm looking through my linens to see what would go best. This is kind of like a like a ocean blue, very light teal. And I'm just trying to come up with a plan without having to go shopping because we have so much. And, you know, I just don't really need to be spending money when I have so much. We are blessed with so much. So I'm going to try to figure it out and I will keep you posted. Okay, I'm going to do another check-in. So this is, I like layering, and so this is what it looks like so far. Okay, I have a beautiful cotton vintage quilt that adds a touch of whimsy, and a heart pillow, but um, I haven't been able to find window treatments that I own, so I may have to go shopping. And then, of course, I placed a runner and some lace um, doilies. This is more contemporary, this one, and this is vintage one on the bottom. So that is what the look it looks like so far. And this area here just has the television dangling cords, cables, and step ladder that I'm using. chair my antique rocking chair and I placed another little stand in the corner for more lighting I still need to figure out curtains which I mentioned and this section here with a two-year-old these cords here are a bit troublesome so I need to kind of brainstorm to see what I can do to remedy that situation I'm trying to leave some floor space for my granddaughter our granddaughter to have an area to play so she'll have that play area and I'm trying to leave some play area here all right 
more progress. I think these shears are going to work. I just need to find some more drapes, preferably something that goes with this beautiful blue and pink floral plat pattern on the quilt. So I had to go shopping after all. Alright, here's a sneak peek for the final stretch. I ac actually had to go shopping for some more accessories. So, lots of goodies. Lots of goodies in there. All right, so here we go. Time to add the finishing touches. I will reveal those in just a few minutes. did end up spending some money. I bought the wreath, the white curtains, the sunflower canvas art. Life gets too hard to stand, Neil. And always grateful for every little thing. Okay, so I did some last minute changes. On the lamps, I switched them out for these cute little French country ones with the little jewels that dangled down from the shade. And then I switched the cradle out. That just wasn't going to work with the cords being too exposed for a two-year-old. Thank you so much for watching this video. I enjoyed creating it. I hope you gained some ideas and always be grateful for every th little thing. And when life does get too tough, you can kneel and pray. Don't forget to like and subscribe.